Everybody left out there. Check it, check it, check it. Check it bro. Come on, man. These niggas crazy. Be quiet. Be quiet. You can hear it. <laughs> check it, check it, check it, man. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the official amazing Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, ain't no more damn wall going. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. What I mean, all I mean, all I mean on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. This long winded section is for y'all to do what I'm saying, all right? So, if you want to see all our visuals, go over to our YouTube channel. That's where you can see all our visuals because. If you, I mean, hit subscribe, hit membership, you name it. Don't forget to hit that notification because that's how you're not going to miss out on any of this fire content that we bring in every single day. We're dropping content every day for y'all. All right. But if you, we do have stuff that is exclusive. The only way you can see the exclusive stuff is by joining our membership. How you see our membership is under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section. There is a link that says join our membership. Click that link for the instructions. And that's how you can see everything before everybody else. Thank you in advance, and thank you for all the support. Listen, man. Hey, man. You know I don't. I, I, these niggas don't need no introduction. You know I'm. I, I'm very, very. You say that all the time. Nah, these niggas. I'm honored to have these niggas in here, though. These are real niggas stomp down. I don't know what's gonna happen today. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> it's about to go down, man. These boys here for comedy. These boys, the hot boys of comedy. According, to, there's a tour going on, mm. and and. and I, they out of New Orleans. You know, we deal with a lot of New Orleans people, man. So I ain't going to try to remember all y'all names. It's too many of you niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Four of us. Yeah, but for me, it's hard. I usually do one one and done. You hear me? I got you. Of course, I could try it. You the know only what I'm name I remember is The Rude. Oh, uh, and he the nicest one of them. God damn. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go. You go for it. Mario you, the comic. You the one, only one I really know by faith because I seen your 85 South. Yeah. yeah. And, and so you was on that line. But let's go. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not finna even play well, with uh, it. Shotty feel good. You ain't never feel good till you shotty feel good. That's the nigga that wow. talked about Silk the Shocker. Let's oh, keep yeah. going. <laughs> he got uh, got uh, he got okay, right here. Uh, two real McAfee. Didn't show up on the last <laughs> interview, but we got him back here, oh, Mr. Yeah. McAfee. Uh, <laughs> the rude one himself. Got yeah, rude you. Mr. Rude Bible you. Four, AKA the greatest host in the world. AKA your baby mama favorites. AKA the fucking hot boys. He'll stop playing with us. This nigga I, whole yeah. job, man. <laughs> <laughs> intro. I ain't even know the nigga had an intro. We'd have put his ass in the front. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? None of these niggas had an intro but him. Yeah, and we messed up on this. We'll get it right next time. We're going to try these niggas again every time the they come down. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so let's talk about it a little bit, baby. Let's get into it. I really don't want to go into all of their background. We'll be here all damn day. I know. So let, let's figure out where they from first. Each one of them from You hear the accent, set. though. No, we different, all know. different parts of town. Okay. What part of New Orleans are Yeah, let's so start I'm shy to feel good. Mid City, New Orleans. Main City? Mid City. Mid City. Yeah, okay. Mid City. I'm, I'm, I'm from all over. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no, I'm from I'm from, a, I'm from an area called uh, uh, it's called the Six Wall. It's, it's a downtown New Orleans, a Treme area. Okay. Yeah. And and called. is it real? Like it's, it gets gangster down there. Gangster. From what I heard. You get gangster. Yeah. All, all of them get gangster. All, 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 all of them. New Orleans. You get killed in church. No, 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 no. No matter what. No, no, no. There's something to this nigga, Mike. I'm West Bank slash Uptown slash Downtown. I'm all over. In a mutt. In, in a cutoff. See? In a cutoff. LG, 1.5. It's not favorite. Why are you from all of that? Cause that's why. That's Where were you born? We proud. Charity <laughs> Hospital. <laughs> the city zoo. The, the city, city zoo. zoo. Ghost town. The city but zoo. But I, I put I put up for the West Bank. Oh, West Bank. West Bank love, Gretna, Terry Town. Mobo Joe Mobo ass nigga. That's what yeah. I was thinking yeah. about, yeah. Mobo yeah. Joe. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying Mobo yeah. Joe. Mobo, Mobo Joe, yeah. old, old music, yeah. old music doing ass nigga. Just, I'm going to sue the Gorilla Zoe looking yeah. ass nigga. <laughs> yeah, you niggas got comedy, nigga. Yeah. Oh. And you, back here? And me, uh, I'm really on the, I'm really double N E. I'm on the outskirts of New Orleans, though, so I'm, I'm outside of them. I'm in the safe spot. I'm where the airport at. I'm over there in Kenner, so. You say safe spot. Uh, safe spot. Right. So there's nothing, spot. nothing happens over there. Uh, we get a lot of traffic stops, so a lot of the New Orleans people <laughs> yeah. really like to come to Kenner because our police officers, that's what they're based on. Yeah. They traffic. Because anywhere the airport is, they got to make sure it stays safe for people coming in and out. 
that too, but they don't really have don't crime now, so that's what they focus on, just traffic. They arrest Saints fans. Yeah. Out there. No, they they don't don't matter of fact, yeah, that's who arrested the uh, football player for the Saints, Michael, yeah. Michael Thomas, right before the game. Wow. Mm. That's what y'all known for. Get your ass in this coat. Mm. It's called wow. killing the, the police. They don't have their kin to you. You're going to jail. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're going to jail. No matter if they black or white police. Nah, they, they arrest white. They arrest, they arrest other police. Yeah. Don't no, die. they don't. Yeah, they really, they really yeah. bad out there with that, though. But like I said, that's, wow. that's probably why we don't have too much crime over there. So. No, ain't no problem. <laughs> no, you, you you niggas gonna act right down there, and I I noticed they'll lock your ass up, and they won't even let you out, you know, for mm -hmm. wrong. You hear all these stories about down there, yeah. like nigga got to walk really on a some type of tightrope mm -hmm. just to live down there, evidently, because some of the niggas that I've interviewed on this show. Uh, my boy uh, uh, Kunta He Kunta. did 28 and a half years All them niggas Did all that damn time And then they let them out And say Oh y'all didn't do it What the fuck man <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm mean? saying yeah, It's different in Louisiana Like in Golan A prison That's a slave plantation They never they never got rid of slavery Yeah they I heard of that they, they tore up they How did up. you guys Find a place to, to laugh In the midst of this shit You no, know But before saying? you say no, that though, I want to know How they all met they don't know each other. Y'all know each other. Like yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. How did y'all yeah. met? How so did y'all meet? Doing this? Yeah, doing comedy, but uh, I met I met me and Jewel probably been doing comedy the longest out of all of us together. Okay. And uh we had another guy, um, you know, Blue rest Fish. in peace to Bluefish. Yeah. Uh, I heard yeah. You so him. I I grew up uh with Blue Bluefish and when when I got into comedy, Bluefish and Jewel, they was the monsters in the game. And so I come up, up under them learning, you know, the comedy. But how long you been doing comedy? You said a long uh, time. How long is a long uh, I've time? I've been doing it now for 14 years. 14 years. Yep. And how long you been doing it, Joe? Over 20. Over 20. Yeah, I started at 18. Wow. My first show was 18. Right. Damn. Yeah. And, and so, and you are uh, internet ass comedy. I see what's going oh, no, on. No, 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 Yeah, you do skits. <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm I a, knew it was a skit I'm ass a nigga on here. I knew it. I'm a stage junkie. Okay, so yeah, you, you started up, in the I, trenches. I, I, I come up under them. So you respect yeah. OGs? I come, I come I you know, you got to ask that. Yeah, so, I do. So, I started no. doing comedy before Instagram came out. Yeah, so That's I'm, hard. I'm, I like I'm going to tell you about it. And I started going viral before Instagram came out. Really? Yeah, he was the was. How long you been doing it? Tell him your skit. About, about, Oh, 11 years. 11 years? Yeah. Mm. Uh, the first 48 New Orleans, you're a whole, whole out here? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was, that was, uh... That was you. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Well, I knew it. You, you got a, a skit comedian in here, so you write That's you? <laughs> oh, I knew it! I knew it! You just pointed at the wrong person. Oh, yeah. damn! <laughs> with with, with stand-up, though, I'm, I'm the little brother of this, and, uh, you know, I, I, I already had a relationship with everybody, so when we just, you know, uh, got together and was talking about doing stand-up comedy, I'm learning from them every day. Yeah. And how long you been doing it? Oh, a stand-up comedy or just comedy in general? Comedy in general. Com uh, probably like seven, eight years. And stand-up? This wasn't stand-up, though. That was just like... I know, but when did you start stand-up? Stand-up probably like two, three years. What's the difference between the two? Uh, Which one's harder? Which one's harder? Oh, Both of them hard. De definitely on stage for me, though, because I think I've mastered the skit part. I, okay. I know how to... You know, write a script, and I know what the people are gonna like and whatnot. But when you're on stage, you have no idea. You don't know what you're getting or what you have sitting there. You are, you got these jokes in your head, but you don't know if they' about to hit. Facts. And then sometimes the ones that usually hit, not hitting, like they not. So you gotta mm -hmm. move on and go to the next one. So that's something that I'm still adjusting to. And watching them do it, they just they make this look so easy. Yeah, and effortless, right? You you see these guys, and they go up on that stage. I, we've been to numerous comedy shows now doing this show, right. and it just Man, it amazed me every time just the way you guys come up with different things. And, you, and I know you're putting a lot into your craft to even be able to, you know, bring it like that. Right, Especially right. for the time period. Like, yeah, yeah, right. nigga be up there just just going and going. I went to Eddie Griffin. This nigga never got off the stage. This nigga was oh, drunk yeah. as hell. He still is drinking. And, yeah. every, and he never it never got, like, he damn boring bad. at he all. Was bad. Yeah, when you, yeah. When you hot. Yeah, when you, you hot, hot, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 he's been doing like it for a while. He got jokes for days. nigga, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, he wanted he wanted he OGs that. in the game. He, he, he definitely give you about yeah, an hour and a half, two got, hours mm, straight. Drunk right. as hell, just having a good time. And I'm up there with Hulk the comedian. That's the guy I bring him out. I said, man, this nigga ain't gonna never get down, man. He talked about everybody in that old man. <laughs> <laughs> he, he not I scared. Ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I don't want point fingers. Oh, <laughs> he do the same shit. Right here. <laughs> if he out, you know, I just thought you were talking to him when you said that. That's how I pointed. He's gonna sit in the car. He still got 45 minutes up there. He's still up there. He 
nigga, he done got put out of club. <laughs> you got to go, man. Like the owner is going back. Like, don't let this nigga back. No, the owner like, no, the owner like, don't bring this nigga back no more. Wow. What gives you the audacity? I'm not going to say the the courage, nigga, to just keep going when niggas done told you get your ass off the stage. Man, I came in for the people, and if the people having a good time, why the fuck we gotta leave? Man, the club got the club, man. They got other shit to do. Drinks. We making money now. Oh my God, he done set rules for the man club. <laughs> <laughs> I see why he told him. Don't you bring yeah, that nigga don't back. Don't bring that nigga back a little more. As long as it ain't, as long as it's before two o'clock, cause you know liquor cut off at two o'clock. Nah, no, no, stop. Not, 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 not,
All, all the way. But the minute the minute people realize that comedians use real life stuff for they for their material, like this happens with everything that we come up with on stage, we don't just make that up out right. of nowhere. We mm-hmm. might adjust it. But it ain't just out of nowhere. We we we're not going. We're not people going to pick on people problems. Like we're not going. Oh, then they got to realize we comedians. We ain't pastors. We ain't no preachers. We comedians. How yeah. we do? We tell jokes. Please like, don't destroy that rush last night. And I went hard on a female mama. Wow. And she was like, you know, that's my mama chill. And I was like, you know what? I'm a chill, but I'm a fuck it a night. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, and that was just like, you came to my job. When like, do. I don't come fuck with you on your job. This is my job. When they they I saw, okay, let me ask you, because... I saw this thing on online the other day. It was a Hispanic comedian, right? Yeah. I guess he was on Twitter trolling this guy about oh, his child. I, I, I saw that. He come, you understand? He yeah. came to he his show. Swinging, yeah. Swinging. Yeah. Yeah. Swinging. Yeah. Swinging. Yeah. Swinging. Yeah. 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 He ain't come swinging. He connected. Oh, that's cool. But they could try to swing. Don't try that. Don't try that. Was the father wrong for that? Or was the comedian wrong? So what happened? I didn't see that. Okay, so the boy, it was it was a situation where the the man was really dogging out this guy online. On Twitter. Oh, about oh, his, yeah, about his kid child. and all oh, your wow. kid gonna be a saying saying that his 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 four month old child gonna be, gonna be go suck a black, suck black this this yeah, whatever yeah, that's whatever. That's a, yeah. that's a bit I mean, what the word? That ain't funny. Yeah. Right. Oh, it, it was, was the way you said it. It was the way you said it. No, it wasn't funny. It was, funny. It was no. not funny. It was he was trying to. He so was trying you to lay this with me. You gonna make the joke and it ain't funny. You need your ass. You know the other side of not funny insulting. Wow. Yeah, like yeah, if it's, it's a, a fine line. Funny, yeah, you like that's talk. crossing. But we that's crossing the line. It's crossing it's the fine line. line. Like, like we ain't about to be talking crazy to no truth. And we got real jokes and stuff like that. So we don't have to pick. That's on why people. I was wondering why he we a don't four have month to, like, old child. Like why? why? We don't use people problems as a platform, dog. If it just happens to fall in, it falls. Now in the like funny that. part of this whole story is if he grew up and he get <laughs> that's that's <laughs> like man, I don't fall for nothing. No, I don't fuck around. I should have man. I should have canceled my Netflix subscription. <laughs> I done did all this fighting and nigga grew up gay. Ain't this a bitch? Y'all hell, man. I be all breaking. So, okay, so which one of you niggas stole somebody's joke? Because Cat Williams let me know that people be stealing jokes and shit. Well, who got, if you stealing jokes, <laughs> or have your joke been stolen before? Oh, yeah. One of y'all, whoever, and how did you feel about it when you seen them do it? Did they do it better than you? I just want to know. No, man. Let, listen, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> that, that joke stealing shit, that shit bad. But it's getting worse because people are hiring writers. And the writers are stealing, bringing it to you like they ain't stole it. And you don't know. And you, don't know, you don't know. So now you, this Cedric the Entertainer steal that joke from Cat Williams. The one you seen, you seen it. Don't no, act like you no. didn't see that. We did see it, but we don't know if a writer brought it to him. Right. We don't know that. But it was the same joke or no? It, it was, it was, it's it close. was close. It's close. It's close. It's close. But sometimes, sometimes close. comedians end up on the same topic. But now like, I'm going to tell you, man, still you know, still we a got a joke, a similar joke. Yeah. He got shot, I got shot. The concept, but... You know, you got shit, y'all too. Man, look, right. That's why I said y'all... No, but listen. I should have said them niggas. But, 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 <laughs> but, but the experience... The, problem. the experience is the yeah. same. Yeah. When you get shot, and as a comedian, when you see it... Did, did you see the light? I ain't seen no light. Because my point, D. Haven was there last week. But I'm going to tell you, I got Jay-Z partnered with her last week, and he said he seen the light. That's in the flag. They say he went to the light. That's how he stayed alive. He come back, right? Thank you you gotta go to the light. Hey, man, oh, go to the light. light. Man, what, what movie saw this on? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to D. Haven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nigga. <laughs> he must have watched. He went to the light. He got that shit from all dogs or whatever. He said, he said the movies is right. From all he said it's right. You gotta oh, go to man, the light. I guess. Uh, I guess. Nigga, I did, you shot, go out? did you fall out? I got out? shot in the daytime. No. But did you lose consciousness? Everything was light. Nah. You didn't lose consciousness. You stayed calm. Yeah. No, I'm gonna tell you. You say, oh shit, I'm shot. What happened? What happened? Tell me about your shit. But when I did get shot, that, that a bullet when they said that bitch hot in the That's what they said. That's what, That's what they said. How many times, said how many hot, times did you get me? shot? I just got shot one. Yeah. <laughs> but shit but it's equivalent like a, it, it, it's equivalent to <laughs> like if you took a, a, a hot pot and just had to hold it till it cooled you off. Keep oh, your, you, get, stupid. you kept oh, your you kept your composure. Just stupid. Hey, <laughs> I, niggas ain't had no choice. Fuck right. it was in me. What the Where did you get shot? What did you do? You uh, got my head calm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You stay real calm about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, I guess it was cool. It was cool. It was cool. Like, it was cool. Right. It was like, I was. It was. It wasn't like I wasn't. I don't know, man. Shit. <laughs> Nobody know how it feels to die. 
Where did you You're get right. shot? Huh? Where did you get shot? I mean, like in New Orleans. Where in your body? I got shot six times. Six God, times. Damn, I that might nigga was mad when he got here. Uh, Shit, I be mad too. Uh, home, six uh, times. My hands. Were you running when you got shot? Uh, it happened run. super fast, no. so I don't remember. You can't run no more. I don't have it super fast, so I, 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 it happened real fast. So how how long was the recovery? The story. Uh, Bam. A month. Just a month? Yeah. From six shots? Yeah. You know you blessed, right? Of course. Yeah. yeah how did it around. change your life after you got shot? Well, it made me worse. Huh? Bit, made me worse a little bit after that. You thought you were Pac. You come out, nigga, they shot me six times. What's up? As a nigga. young kid gets yeah. shot. How like, old were you? I was 18. When you got shot. Yeah, so it's like, you know, when you get shot, at, you know, you, you're young and you just, you know. You, you rap? Think, no, I didn't make no rap, nigga. Because they, <laughs> you, we don't, in New Orleans, that, that shit don't work like that. <laughs> you don't make no diss track about a nigga. nigga. Nigga hear that and be like, all right, bet. Well, I'm it don't work like that in Houston, too, because that boy got shot after he left Blair. He so, was yeah. stupid. He had, that was dumb. He had. Posted a picture from last year. He kept the picture in his phone. Like, I'm sorry, but like, God damn. Like, if you, if that's the first thing you do after a goddamn interview is post a moment like that, then bruh, God bless you. That's, Ain't no way. That's, that's crap game, my nigga. Look, There's no way the I would get on any type of platform and be like, man, come get me. That's I'm different. still here. This one live right that's now? That's different. No, no. that's right. different between us. That's not live. If you cut that for you know, now you might have to say it. Hey, hey, really, rap is different than comedy. Once you get shot in rap, I don't know if you've seen these rappers that get shot. But blow 50, up. Yeah, yeah, 50 got shot. He come out with the bulletproof. You got to get a vest. I know the whole thing. Pop got shot. a vest. Everybody get a vest. You, you come out with the mic, and, no, and I, that's how you blow I up. Either, I ain't need the rap. Like, when you get in New Orleans, if you get shot up, you get coochie. You that nigga. No, so it's like already like it was just like a rapper. Real, I was just like a rapper. Real ass. What the hell? Well, well, I should have got shot at. I ain't getting get no extra <laughs> ass. I had chicks I carrying my books shot. and all that. You only got shot one time. Only one time. All right. Yeah, go find me. Yeah, there's a woman like you. Get five on the ass, nigga. Five on the ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You only got shot once. Yeah, nigga. Nigga, gotta go back and feel like hit me one more. No, four more times, nigga. You right. You gotta have five or better. This shit ain't nothing oh, to play yeah. with. Man. Yeah, man. Shit. Pop felt that same thing you did. Man, five Pop. times after that, he started getting all them videos. His, mm -hmm. So it's just like you got one. Oh, uh, it okay. When did oh, yeah. you grow up out of that situation of that well, hatred that, and stuff like that? Uh, I went to jail, mm -hmm. and when I came home, the mother of my child had a big old belly like she was pregnant as a mother. So that mm -hmm. was it. That was it. That was right after that. It was done. Yeah, like, let me let Same it go. Same thing with yeah, you. Like, when, how did you how did you bounce back? Like, mm -hmm. it was depression or did it set in? Like, you see a car coming, you duck. Was it a drive by? No, nah, it wasn't no drive by. But I mean, I don't know. Like, it it it, uh, it changed your mindset. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, it make you look at things a little different. You value life a little more. Uh, all situations, you you uh, actually learn how to deal with situ. Well, it, you have the patience to deal with situations because you now you understand that. You know, life short. You know, how what I'm old were you when you got shot? Uh, twenty two. Was you a little bit older? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. fucked up down there. Yeah. We think that was normal. Yeah. We thought that was it's, normal. Like it's not normal. Like if you ain't got shot, you you. Well, you, I mean, I ain't gonna necessarily say it's normal, but. Well, it fuck it is kind of yeah, normal. Two out of four niggas that got shot. Right, right. Every two out of four niggas is a scenario. Listen to what he's saying, how he's talking about. He's talking about like he's fell off. A, he's talking about it's like he fell off a bike or something. Yeah, because that's, that's the, uh, the, uh, the dirt. The, what's the boy's name from Dirt Zai? Or, uh, dirt Zai. Yeah, yeah, he got yeah. shot. His whole arm was gone when he mm -hmm. came in here. Uh, it was another one. Who else was it that got shot that came in there? A bunch of kids. Oh, that's kid, when they, you kid, gotta kid. get shot to come like, on here. Like new, yeah, I love the, the, the yeah, real you know, thing. I love a nigga, the on the the nigga, nigga, the nigga that got shot. <laughs> All the shit that we go through so our I'm people can learn. Shots, you know what I mean? Two of shots yeah. Yeah. show together. Like it's a bunch, man. You need to go back You call me and you say you a rapper? I fuck that. I don't want that. You got shot. Now I'm giving my game away. If you say you went to prison or you got shot, then I'm like, yeah, nigga, we can we can work with that. Yeah, no, no, that nigga say, you saw the light. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, what was the light? Oh, nigga, that's he lying, right? right? Like, did you see that? Nigga? That's the craziest questions when you get shot and some tragic happens. Yeah, they give you the worst advice in the world. But the one thing, no, because I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Because I believe that you know, if you still here, you have a purpose. A you understand yeah, what I mean? Of God put us through things for a reason. 
to help others because you have a lot of these younger kids out here who've never been through what y'all been through but by telling you a story you might can, you can help them help well, them deter them so email, that's why we um, do it like this. If, if, if you want us to be a vessel send an email it don't <laughs> work like that like, I you wish know, you did type of sign you want to send you want to send a sign bro you know We'll have a ceiling, ceiling on DM me or something, bro. Next time, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't I really, want to go I really that. want to. Ne next time, if you're up in Dallas know. and you come, I want to do y'all each kind of by yourself because those stories, everybody Whoa, got a back story. No, did it. No, I, I just say that. Say, I don't say that. Say story, say you no, say I want to do your each by yourself. Yeah, all that. I don't do all this that. Story. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> then, you know, we want to get y'all, you nah, know, where, where where I can really, because I want to dive into your story, his story. Like I really, because I know y'all out here for the tour, and I, I just wanted to have y'all on the show, yeah, man. Y'all yeah, dope, yeah, ball sure. with y'all, y'all. You know, I love New Orleans, as y'all already know the show. A lot of niggas can't really get on here, but they be trying. And you know, at the end of the day, you know, uh, I just get the ones who God sent my way. Let's just flex like that, that no. right. you know what I'm that, saying right. yeah, so when, right. when I when right. I look when boy said man do your research man they come and do your research I'm like, look, nigga. That's how he just talk, get too. these yeah. niggas over here, yeah. and we gonna have a good show <laughs> and have a good time, and let people know y'all showing love to Dallas, and we appreciate that, bro. Nah, well, nah, how did, nah. So, what's this show about, like tonight? Where it's at and everything? Because this gonna come out late. Gravity cool. Lounge, Gravity Lounge. That's in Addison. Uh, I don't really know. I just, uh, I just get that. Yeah, but where do y'all go like next? And how long is the tour going on? Uh, and so, when did it start? Uh, so it started back in May. No, what is no? We're in June now. March. It started okay. in March. Uh, yeah, that was in Atlanta. Um, uh, we 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 actually was going to uh, Houston, but they uh, had some bad weather out there. Right. So we gonna uh, gonna double back on Houston. We we going to Baton Rouge Father's Day all, with Lil Duval. Lil Duval. Shout out to Lil Duval. Uh, Duval. Yeah. I met that nigga. Man, nigga had braid, uh, dreads longer than yours. Thought he was really the man back then. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yeah. me, are, I got the picture somewhere. Yeah. Are all y'all fathers? Yeah, all yeah. Us, yeah. Okay, so fathers. Yeah, he is. This nigga right here, he'll pull up out here right now. <laughs> you make it yeah, sound like he got like, don't. I met niggas like that. They don't play by their kids. It's always something to do. Yeah. They don't run nothing. At Who the got house. the most kids out yes, of y'all? I got to go, man. Who got uh, the most kids? How many kids you got? Yeah. That nigga ain't telling me. Well, the nigga smile like that nigga just did. That nigga got about 30 kids, man. I got just two. I got a boy and a girl. I'm sad. Oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, remember he got shot and he said that's how he got He got a lot of building up his own clan. So he might have some more out there. You know you know what the problem be? Nigga be having all these situations. Nigga don't really be knowing that they children for them and shit. Nigga be, you know. Do you agree with me that they should have that a test for every kid as soon as they born? Yeah, as soon as they born. What was that thing? What we waiting on? Right, right, I ain't gonna lie, cause I got I, this 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 girl from DR be calling over what's happening. I be blocking her. <laughs> DR or BR? DR. All right. Oh my <laughs> god, you wrong, yeah, bro. Yeah, I be blocking her. You how, got a baby over there. How old is that baby now? I don't know. <laughs> It's like when so, he like one, so one, he one years old. And how many kids you got in the back? Yeah, oh, I, I, one. yeah, one? I raw dog. Oh, one. One. When you have so we got one, the twos in the front and the one. ones in the back. That's why that nigga breaking away. He got one. If that nigga had three, he'll stay. But so, one. So, so, so let me ask, let me ask this just for clarity. So like. Am I supposed to like say my stepchildren is my children? Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, I got, oh, I got, How I got, many you got? I got three. I'm, yeah. 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 You took care of them. Three of them. Yeah. You buy them something to eat or no? Yeah, yeah. I got it. I find stuff. Well, they're yours. Okay. <laughs> Who made up stepchildren? Who made that up? I don't know, but that's because you're supposed to when you first meet him, you it's step over him to get I, to the know what I thought about that's that. That's what it is. You gotta yes. step over him and to step to back mama. over him to, to get to the ass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We geniuses. That's crazy. Like that little no, ball Jennifer. far as go. But I gotta ask <laughs> because this has <laughs> always been a the thing. Principle. They always say, you know, when Mother's Day come around, because he always mm. mess with me about this stuff. How everybody they do. Us dirty every they year. do and then for me, okay, what do y'all men want from women? Don't ask on, us, because I, I got I some shit. Ask. Yeah, so we want us women know. for fun. For we want a thoughtful gift. The same thing y'all want, we a thoughtful gift. We don't want no gifts that we like can what? fix. Like what? Give us some examples. I mean, hey, it's, you, you, the, you date the man, you with him. You if know what he like. Right. If house. he play golf, he might want clubs. If he if he shoot guns, he might want bullets. So you never get thoughtful gifts? No. No, I get I no, I you get, get thoughtful gifts. Don't go there. Y'all get gifts that y'all think 
that, that y'all think would we'll be good for us to do tie. for y'all? Uh-uh. A, a little no. wild. I'm old name, barbecue old grill. Why you can't even wear it? Because you like to barbecue. Old name is y'all. Because you like to barbecue grill. You can tell. You can put much into the meal. Because y'all like to eat barbecue. Wait a minute. Hold on, everybody. You can tell, right? Like, they didn't put much into this gift. real gift. They didn't put much into this gift. Oh, you get good gifts. One out of five. One out of five. I, what I'm saying is, you like, damn, they didn't put much thought into this. You don't think so? A tie. But you, okay. Socks. Okay, Name you know the difference? Name Father's Day. Name one. Luther Vandross. Dance with my father. And Rapapa's Rolling Stone. You don't care about us. He never did. <laughs> okay, but let me ask <laughs> y'all a question. Did. Let me ask y'all a question. For Mother's Day, don't y'all women tell y'all, okay, this is what I no, want. No, I want no, this, I want that. We don't come yeah, with yeah, roses. That, that, and we got to have about three things. Then y'all got to go out. You got three folks. So she don't tell y'all what they want. No, no, no. So you're not paying attention. We got to go out. We don't never go out on Father's Day. Nobody don't show women do wish them for Mother's Day. No, we don't. You could do a car wheel in a restaurant. You prefer Ain't nobody at the restaurant on no Father's Day. Car wheel in there. Nobody, that bro. shit empty. It's no way, way, no way. You gonna throw a handful of rocks no, and hit no, nothing. It's gonna be a thirty minute wait. If like, it's on a oh, Sunday, the church people gonna overflow. I ain't think about it. And church in the no. early. <laughs> the Mother's Day, they keep you. You they prefer want. for me to cook than to go out anyway. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. don't start. Yeah, but still, it would be cool to surprise me to go out once that's in a while. Yeah. That's what, that's what women yeah, you know, and, and do you Wait. think about what women do? They I want us to uh, guess what they want, but us, we got to tell right. them. And right, and if we and don't if we guess don't right, we get in trouble. <laughs> no. If we don't, no. If we don't tell them, they're not going to put no real effort into it because it's like, oh, I know he don't really care. He, he got everything exactly. he needs. But it's crazy, though, because we would really like something for real. If Man, Father's Day coming up, this is going to be a good episode. Okay. I'm putting this shit out. You know what the problem okay, is? Okay, being a woman, when I ask, when I ask and I be like, oh, oh I don't want none. I don't want none. We, that that means you want something. As a woman, that means you want something. No, from everything. a man, when no, a man, from a woman, you better bring it. You better bring it. And he said, no, I don't want something. That means you bring back the word. When you ask your woman, so we been trained, right? So we been trained. As a as a man, when you ask your woman, man, you want something? And she said, no, I don't. That mean, bring, you better have it. You better have it. That's like asking a woman. You better have it. Okay, and when a woman asks a man that same question, and you say you don't want it's something, what it's the same. It's the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Because yeah. I don't. Because I really don't want to put pressure on you. Because yeah. I don't really know where you are financially. I might not know how much money you have. So, right. but she give me something. Some well, give her a ring. Oh, got some money. No, well, no, give she, her a ring. That's, that's like, like asking no a woman. Ring. That's like asking a woman. Would you? Let's like asking a woman. Uh, hey, you want some meat? And y'all be like, no. Oh, shit. Sure, y'all be like, no. That means she don't matter. It don't really matter. <laughs> you, you want to eat? Yeah, babe. Um, it don't really matter. Then you pull up. Ooh, I don't want to eat. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. this is your food. Yeah. It's your food. Yeah. Come yeah. back to the store. Yeah. Like, you're guilty. <laughs> no. Well, I got to tell the truth, man. Idea. Shout out to them boys out of New Orleans coming for a show. Father's Day coming. What's a gift idea? I got a gift idea. Yeah. For Father's Day. For Father's Day. What a camera is right there. Yeah. Yeah, right there. You got them? Mm hmm. Best Father's Day you ever give a father. It's four sets of titties. Four. I'll leave it right there. Happy Father's Day. God damn. Yeah, four sets of titties. Four sets of titties. That's all. But you don't do the job. You don't do the work. You just like. Watch. Who? <laughs> who, in the, who in the hell stares at cake and don't eat it? Lord, that mercy. Like, you know. That's what I'm it's saying. Just, man. It's, it's, just, it's tough on Father's Day. It's really a depressing thing when you think about it. Think about the commercials. We it ain't like, it, it's just, because it, you're comparing it to Mother's Day. That's the problem. We need to stop doing that shit because we are not measuring We need to compare more like the Halloween, yeah, yeah, the Sunday like that. We messing up. Yeah, we I, I like, I like Halloween. You know what the real crazy? Part? I like Halloween. They gonna have some women say happy Father's Day to themselves. To themselves, you say that exactly. So, do. so no, that's what she is. Like, so, so, like, yeah, ain't around. Imagine, imagine on Mother's Day if men started saying that. Happy, happy Mother's Day. I'm about to get mad as hell. You the host. You sassy. You sassy. You the real host. host. What the new thing they said? You, you a sass ass nigga. Ah, oh, oh, zesty. 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 I, yeah, I ain't Yo gonna lie. Zesty ass nigga. Hey, that sassy, that sassy get your back in your shit. That sassy. That bitch cut like a knife. I don't know what it is about that word. Sassy? Ooh, that bitch work. That bitch worse than bitch. Yeah, that bitch cut like a knife. 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 That bitch c
Sassy, you a sad, sad ass nigga. nigga. So, oh. so when you when you think about these, let's go back to the jokes a little bit, man. I want to talk about some of the things that you guys encountered because I talked to Scruncho and well, I had Carlos on there. Really Carlos, that Carlos was yeah. like, Carlos, Carlos said that you know Scruncho would you know he he might whoop a nigga and let him sit on the whole set with him after he beat him up, you know, like he can get rough up there. A nigga can get and Cat Williams say he'll get up and punch Sid in the in the stomach like y'all niggas. <laughs> wait, you know, wait, you saw that punch? Punch? Yeah, it was low. It was low and aggressive. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, oh, no. you niggas fight. Evidently, I mean, some comedy people who have issues. Have you ever seen somebody have to fight in there because of people in either in the audience or other comedians yeah, get into it? Like really? Y'all be with these two? Nigga, we we have that's crazy. Like you be tripping like close. that, bro? No, but you, just, you, I mean, you remember back in the day. you wrong. And you remember after the show, after when, the show I, when I first started, uh, <laughs> The dude didn't have my money. I'm like, man, what's up my money? Like, man, I'm, man, like, I'm gonna pay you next week. And I had probably bought about 75 people in there. Knocked him out right in front of the- <laughs> Wait, did you ever get paid? I took the money. Ooh. That was a dog. That was like, I just want what I want. I took mine and gave him. All gave robbery. Him you know that's on up. Martin. He seen that shit on Martin. When it, when it, when it was oh, that karate man. On robbery. Oh, 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 you talking about uh, 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 Kung Fu Joe? That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I, I, I whooped a nigga outside the comedy show than day comedy. Speak right now, Mike. I, I whooped something. You had to, had to shake a nigga like a pit bull. Yeah. What happened? Explain. Comedy. It's a long story. He ran up on you? Make he it short. He walked up on me. What did he walk up and say? Like, nigga, you ready? He ain't gonna fight. He you ready? I, I, I watched that. I ain't gonna lie. He fucked me up. I ain't know he could throw it. I thought that, that hand ain't ain't work. Ready? So he was That's in your comedy show. He was, he was supposed to be outside. He was cooking. Oh. He, was, he came outside. Yeah, so what he mad at you for? So, some, some stuff. He stole his girl? A bad fool. No, it's, uh, it's, it's a girl. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dude my girl used to talk to. I knew how the oh, girl yeah, had to be yeah. somewhere. So he in was there. like, he, he one of them guys. Came yeah, he ran up on you. Yeah. So he yeah. messed my truck up. Put a... After they, see, after, they, after they see this, they gonna fight again. So he scratch your truck <laughs> like a hoe? I was trying to put the video to post it. Did he scratch it? No, he put Snickers in, uh, he put her favorite candy in, in, the, in the gas tank. Mm. Her Look favorite candy. So, so I battered her too. Mm. Hey, I battered hey, her too. I'm playing. All right, playing. no diddy, playing. no diddy, hey. nigga, so no diddy. Who, who, who did the forensic to know that was her favorite chocolate in the tank? Oh, right. cause he, cause what happened was. <laughs> he left the rapper <laughs> yeah, in the the rapper like. Yeah. Cause my he, cousin, the girl throw Johnny wrenches on his car. This is no thing. Like you heard me, so I put your favorite candy in this. In this, he wrote that was like a point. I'm like, nigga, you heard me. <laughs> you heard us. <laughs> <laughs> How we gonna get around? Are you around? still with him? Are you still with him? He went in. He he he, he did the truck and her car. Nigga said, I'm gonna whip a ride out your ass. I never won. He really won. My nephew had a girl that throws Jolly Ranchers on his car. It's a known thing. Candy get thrown on cars or in tanks. And y'all still together? Yeah. Yeah. Love him. Yeah, what's love got to do? We're gonna do some shit together. That's my dog. We're gonna do some shit together. So. Wow, yeah. man, I can't wait to hear this, boy. Y'all got hell funny. of a confidence set We up. was going on tour <laughs> the, the night this shit oh, was I, happening. I the first time. <laughs> the very first time. So this just happened? No. No, How not, long ago was no, it? This was like this uh, tour. pre-COVID. Yeah. Three, okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, y'all, you was yeah, out there. You was yeah, out there. No mask on, slapping yeah. niggas. Yeah. yeah. This shit <laughs> was different back then. <laughs> you go back pre-COVID, no mask. Because I remember when COVID hit, like, before COVID, you come in here with your hoodie on, nigga, take your hoodie out. We grab a gun right Thanks. quick. Or, yeah. You know, it was like any convenience store. Everybody knew this was a rule. You can't wear your hoodie in stores. Right. You can't, you know what I mean? Right. And yeah. then after after COVID hit, nigga had on a mask Kept and a hoodie. Mask. Kept Man, I'm like, I'm I'm like, just I, I, my head. I'm like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, really, man? I'm closing the store. So if you look on the door, it's by appointment only. Fact. You know <laughs> yeah, hey, no, yeah. <laughs> nigga said, <laughs> one nigga at a time. Yeah, I don't nigga. play like that. But you have to fight through these clan sheets. Now y'all want these damn mad. <laughs> it's tough. When y'all telling these jokes, because y'all tell jokes about y'all lives, right? right? Stuff that y'all, your woman tripping, all that. Yeah. Do y'all tell everything? Do y'all women be calling? I'm like, why did you tell them all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's I'm, not enough yeah. to tell her. It's not I'm enough edging me. Yeah. I'm going, I'm pushing the envelope. Envelope out there. I'll exaggerate. I'm going to say some shit. Exaggerate. So y'all ladies don't ever get mad at y'all when y'all yeah. tell all the business. Man, I mean, it's life. They used to Fuck, it. I mean, yeah, they get used to it. I'm going Do you know it. when it's a lie or a truth? When the person telling their jokes? If, if nah, it's, they don't know. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Who you can't tell. You never know. 
I want to ask you, like, who is your greatest face. comedian of all time? Your GOAT. Dead or alive. And I'm calling to you next, so y'all Yeah, so, I mean, for me, I, I so. And why? That's one person. I always did, like, so it's even between Bernie Mac and Robin Harris. No one oh, person. Yeah, that's my shit. two. No, one person. They, 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 they sound like bro, you. Y'all always get so bad. Cut it, cut it. Cut it. No, no, that's the first one I heard you for, y'all. Hell no. Well, I'm going to go with Bernie Mac. And you should. He's a good, and why? That's a good one to go with. Um, why you pick Bernie? Because I felt like out of mo- out of every comedian, he, he had something that it, you can't teach. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of comedians are taught comedians. You could tell he was just a raw Comedian, right, right. Um, his stories, you couldn't duplicate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and even when you when you think about the stories he told, some of them like they were funny because he told them, and nobody else could retell that story. Um, so I mean, that's that's kind of why I think you know he's he's the best of me. And then you know if you just look at his work. None of them other comedians ain't gonna follow no Bernie Mac. Uh, mm-hmm. Bernie Mac was a monster. He literally turned the bit into a sitcom. What happened with Steve Harvey and him on that tour? You ever hear a talk about that? You, mm-hmm. How he didn't? Steve tried to go first. You don't see. You don't. You don't meet. Mm-hmm. Nah, about. I you do know. know. What nah, happened? It's hard Steve to go Harvey was Steve even he, admitted he, like he, he wasn't even supposed to be in the last one. They really. I, a lot of people get Steve a bad rap. Tur- God Tur- God Tur- was on that tour too. He was really yeah, on that tour. God Tur- niggas, Tur- niggas really didn't want to go, you know, last like that. Man, that's a pressure. Yeah, but Bernie Mac took that. He yeah. wanted to do that. Yeah, Nobody wanted to go after Bernie. Yeah, and I don't blame him. I don't yeah. even think. Did he originally go last? No, Steve no, was going last. They yeah. were trying to make Steve they go edited, last. So they edited from the Steve go last. said, I can't no, go last every the night. Host. Damn that. Right, right, right. And he good at it. Better host than any damn yeah, host course, I ever seen. Yeah. To be honest with you, that nigga a host yeah, can fool. Yeah, he, 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 which probably. spot has more pressure when you go first or last? Last to me. Has more pressure. I would say first. First is scary because, I mean, this is you got to wake up the crowd. If it, if it wasn't for a host like this that helps us out before we go out there, it, it would be scary for me to be. This shit sound like the like the like the four forty relay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because it, it, it depends. Yeah, right. the, the third yeah. leg nigga yeah. might take us where we need to go. Yeah, it's, yeah. Right. Yeah. it's really it's really a team sport, bro. It's really a team sport when you got a group of us. Like as you know, everybody's been on their job, and you know, regardless of who funny and who whatever, it's the show just gonna be great. We gonna win, we gonna win the game. So and you wow. know, it's crazy. Like when when. Like Mario get off the stage and I'm up next. He really tell me like, "Oh, they hot. They good. You got them. They wide open." Wow. Like they, you, you can feel it, the energy. You got to get it. Yeah, you got to get that because that, that means he was comfortable up there. I should be good. And we had nights where it was like, "Oh yeah, they dead up now. Just go do what you got to do." And you know, we already we already prepared for it, so you ain't getting up on stage and you like, "Damn, my shit not funny or it's not hitting." Nah, we was prepared for it. We said we know what Facts. kind of crowd we got. Facts. And wow. then you got somebody that's gonna come last. He unorthodox. I ain't never heard nobody say that about. Um, uh, 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 audience like an unorthodox audience, like he really know how to control it. Wow! That's but when the, but when the crowd is dead, it's like I can because I've seen where we've been to a comedy show before where the crowd was dead, and you can see the co- comedian he doing what he doing, but he not giving his all. It's just like he there just telling that's his show. That's the best mm-hmm. shows when you have to earn the laughs. To me. Mm-hmm. Right. I want to hear about you the, because the, like what, to, to me honestly, like my opinion, you're not making people laugh. You hear mm-hmm. me? You like. They're allowing you to make them laugh. Because, yeah. like, shit, first they'll give you their attention. So I think it's all about, like, your presence. You know, we're being funny at the end of the day, but it's about being familiar and just being appealing. You, you have to switch me? it up sometimes of when course. you do that. Like, sometimes you have to come off script and go raw. Yeah, of course. You freestyle. Stages like women. Some you make love to, and some you gotta fuck them. They only want. <laughs> 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 I, want I want to hear who your goal is, man. Like, who? Eddie Murphy. That's a bad, mm, that's, that's a good one. Uh, Why? Because he showed me more than stand up. Like I've been following him since the uh, I follow him. So I I started watching Eddie Murphy. I used to go. Uh, my uncle used to rent these tapes from uh, this little store, and he used to be on Saturday Night Live, right? Yeah, yeah, right. And then uh, them them uh, them two specials, but his movies. Got gotcha. you. You feel me? It was it's a struggle. It's really out of Eddie Murphy and the Wayne Brothers, because that's where I really get all really? my shit from. Yeah. 
The Wayne's, I, you know what? The Wayne's brothers. I give it to them. Louis Bill. So how you gonna let this nigga do too? He switched it. He switched it. He switched it. He switched it. He said he's too bad too as well. He switched it. And then he switched it. But then he went back and he's playing shot. Now this nigga playing games. He really flexing in both ways to get his point across. Don't do that shit. My bad. All right. You disqualified, nigga. Let's go to the next question. No, no, no. But I got a question. I'm disqualified. No, but I got a question. The nigga game is done. I'm cutting that part out. No, hold on. I'm going to just say Eddie Murphy and I'm going to shut that old rhyme hold on, hold on but I got a question <laughs> now go it's, ahead man come back man we, <laughs> look how he turned around in the corner Mario. like Clap he just Mario. I'm like punished, he just I'm put him in the Clap corner <laughs> um, if Ed, do y'all think if Eddie Murphy came back out for one more tour that he could put it down like how he used to nah, nah. I think so because you know Martin coming back. So Martin, too. Martin, Martin doing his so tour. Y'all said no. I said yeah. Oh, yeah, he's been through a lot of stuff. He lost his brother. I, t- I you know, think he's gonna bring it. I think his clock. So you don't think he can come back? Yeah. I think. I think uh, they said no. We had three no's. Audience, audience, you say yes. Sensitivity is so high now that it's, it's hard to tell certain kind of jokes. And I respect Dave Chappelle to the T because he really don't care. Well, I'm like, telling you right now. I think you just too young to understand who Eddie Murphy is. Don't come here with that. Eddie Murphy. No, no. I need you to leave. So I don't play with Eddie Murphy. This is what I think about every about all of that. But what Eddie Murphy talked about that was sensitive back then. I'm saying now though. But what y'all talking about? What kind of jokes would he come up with now? That's what they're saying. That nigga gonna do it. Eddie Murphy had great writers on that. But he's living in society. Yeah, Robert Townsend and King Eddie Murphy. Murphy is a beast. But you say he can't come nah, back now. Nah, that ain't what I said. You said is he gonna come back like he came. Nah, no, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said can oh, well, he come back. I mean, but y'all, y'all, y'all look all that. Y'all push y'all on that. Y'all got upset. Y'all in the car. You don't say nothing about Eddie, man. You the same nigga talking about Silk, nigga. I forgot. Silk the shocker, man. He the same nigga. I think he can come back. Don't you get she heard about What you mean, nigga? What you mean, nigga? You out your mind? Don't you Wait. play around with nigga Miller brothers, oh nigga? Here to stay. You can't make it five four nine. Y'all niggas are worse, man. <laughs> because y'all know Martin Lawrence starting back his his oh, run right, right now. So how is he gonna do? Martin, so so uh, I, I did some shows with Martin when he came back with the Littest Fuck tour. Okay, he's different. You know what I'm saying? Is he, he as good as he used to be? I mean, he's. He's still good. I mean, but like when you hungry, it's a different type of performance you give. I mean, we we performing to eat. True that. True that. Right, so true me, true me right. coming in, me coming in, uh, stand up late. Um, when you was asking about the comedians, my my comedian coming in when I first started watching like stand up for real, like literally sitting and watching. You trying to slide it was, too. It was, it was it was Kevin Hart. That's you trying to slide part. too and watch this shit. Yeah, it was it was Kevin Hart. That's the crazy part. Like watch I like grown to slide like two people. Like that was my favorite stand up. Go to somebody else when I say who you go to. You got to. Oh no, no, that's what I'm gonna say. It was it was Kevin Hart. Then I didn't pick you to go next. I picked Ruth. But you you hold on. Listen to the story. Go ahead. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go ahead, go ahead. Y'all right, so stupid, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. When it first started, when it first started, like he 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 told stories, like he was all into it. It was great. But as time went on, your your the audience like attention span started decreasing. So they're not gonna really listen to stories no more. Now they just looking at it like this. Oh, this is boring. It's not funny no more. So uh, that's why I was saying like people like Eddie Murphy and stuff like that. It's a whole new audience now. Yeah, you can't hit them with like I'm talking about uppercuts every time. They gonna eventually fade out. You don't think that they gonna readjust because they stars and they know how to you deal with star no power? Really you know what I mean? Bro, bro, no, no lie, bro. I, mean, I ain't still on stage, so I, I, I'm just talking. I know it's my comedy partner, but bro, y'all compare. Oh yeah, Eddie Murphy to play. I know y'all compare Eddie Murphy to Kevin Hart right now. Kevin Hart. I didn't compare him to Kevin Hart. Yeah, because like you don't get old and get better. Say who? Huh? Who? Who get old and get better? Yeah, who? Who, who, who don't? Who's done it? Who, uh, everybody. Everybody is great. My, you, so you think Michael Jordan come back today? You're going to be the Michael same Michael no, Jordan? No, no, no. Comedy you, different, you, you bro. Ain't it? Ah. I'm saying as far as like... Eddie Griffin hard than a bitch about right now, man. We're not talking about sports. Does the art of stand-up have changed? Kevin so, Hart had like so, 15 no. stand-up right, so, specials so, so, for a reason. Come on, man. He just made me one person or one thing who was better at like... Who came back and was better. John came back. Now you coming to America? No comedy. The second one wasn't better than the first one. 
Of course. And too much time went by for that. They say there's new bad boys. They say this is a new bad boy. Why they say that? Why they say that? Why they say that? To sell it. No, my son went wild. That nigga was wild. Everybody was 10 for 10. He watched it last night. He said it was bad. It ain't go no 20 years in between. They kept hitting us. Kept hitting us. Why do you not like Eddie Murphy? I never said that. You keep coming at Eddie. I keep trying to tell you that. Bro, I'm looking at what you're doing, homie. I keep trying to tell you that. The audience attention span. The attention span is crazy now. I know you don't like that shit at all. I got a question to all y'all. I respect niggas' mom, but I don't agree with it. Yeah, all you don't right. at all, right? I got a question. So the art of comedy, because I know y'all have an art to this it's comedy. So different. Does it's the art subjective. of comedy ever change? Yes. Well, so it does change, change over no, time. No, it's changed on stage too. It did. Yeah, it changed. So you tell me the old comics have so to learn a new way. Yeah, they got comics. All right, so they got comics from back in the day. I mean, matter of fact, you can use Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart was good. Like in the Def Jam era, but he's great now. He was shit in Def Jam era. I don't know about I that great. I'm saying in movies, in movies, he was great. Jam but his stand up, I like these movies. He was. The stand up, Dan Chappelle. Dan Chappelle was a real name for me. Popular, he wasn't one of the main names. No, he wasn't. But that's what I'm saying. He still was the same Kevin Hart. He 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 got fun around Bronny little man. Yeah, Kevin Hart. Uh, is, as as time went on, his stand up. So, he got richer. But, but he got richer. Do you think the audience changed? I think they do. You got to remember, like, you got to remember, yo, yo, you know, they got age changes and everything. Just like with uh, Method Man and Red Man on stage, like, they literally had to say, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I use the same joke. I just told you that the audience is changing. I'm using the same joke forever. So you you feel the same joke forever. So you I take sketch recycling. You got kids that's been in high school. So a lot of them Eddie Murphy. Like you gotta know how people. You gotta you gotta know how people think about what you're doing. Yeah yeah. Please. You know what I'm saying? Like I mean this nigga right here won't stop. He took the reins. Eddie Murphy. This is a good. This is a good. This nigga right here though. Eddie Murphy. This is a good health conversation. That nigga don't like Eddie Murphy. A lot of comments don't know about comedy. First of all. Clean that shit up, but he just said it. <laughs> because, it. please. So, my goat is Eddie Murphy. <laughs> 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 I'm right. He's he a nice nigga, though. He's nice. Bro. You see that? Eddie Murphy. How many comics, comics you had on your show that so, talk about like that? We, we, we know all shit. We know all shit. Eddie, Eddie Murphy is the greatest that ever did this shit. Hands down. He young. And you believe that? Name, name, name but you, you said you, you said Eddie was good too. Bernie had, Mac? That. that now, name me a comedian. Closest, that's closest. That had great. We talking about stand up and, and movies. movies. Okay. Kevin Hart. Bernie Mac did a lot of Kevin movies. Oh, that boy shit like all his movies. movies. He like his comedy. We the best movies. movie Kevin Hart would have was the one he just came out with True Story. Right along. He broke he broke he broke the Ice Cube uh, record with comedians. Now every time Ice Cube yeah. did a movie with comedians, it was off the chain. Right. No. You gotta think about you gotta think about Eddie Murphy catalog and movies. True Story. True Story. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. No, I bet all of that. Beverly Hills Cop. Dolomite. <laughs> Dolomite. Mm-hmm. Hall of Knights. You saw Dolomite, right? Love. Life. How long ago that was? He did Norbit. Oh, no, no. Three, four mm-hmm. years ago? Yeah. Recipe. Give you the feeling this, of, that's not stand up. It's still the same Eddie thing. Wrong. Still the same thing. No, but uh, you 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 it's changing still, my mind right you're now. Still, <laughs> <laughs> well, Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy, hey, put it together yeah, well. Nigga, hang that on. nigga quiet as hell right now. Nigga, hang on. That nigga quiet. Hang on. Hang on. The tree hit the nigga with a whip. Wow. Eddie Murphy knew how to. I said he knew how to put it together. Cause like, I ain't gonna lie, he's too special. He had some badass writers now. He had Robert Townsend and he had Keenan Ivory Wayne produce Raw. That's hard. That's hard. You know, so like, Bernie Mac stand up wise. He the best. Oh, he, yeah. He the best. Because it's raw. Like, him and Mike Epps, to me, are the best stand-up comics. Like, straight up. Because they nice. just... Everybody, 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 yeah, everybody not going to agree with that. Yeah. I know, I know. Nigga, you from like, Eddie Murphy to Mike Epps. Yeah, Jesus. Stand-up, stand-up, yeah. stand-up. I don't like Mike Epps. Stand-up, Eddie Murphy. You don't like Mike Epps. Stand-up, Bernie Mac. What made you not like him? A lot of people say stand-up. Yeah. But you like him in movies. It just don't... Yeah, it just don't make me laugh, though. But he definitely... Funny in movies for sure. Well, I, I was going to ask him about letting you come with him, but I guess nah. you know, yeah, don't get yeah, it. Yeah. Nah, I think he's really, I think he's really good. <laughs> I see niggas do it. But you know, know I am. I'm, I'm the size of the Duval when he I'm, run up on y'all that, next uh, week, cause he be with it, he be with Mike. You know. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm making that transition too, though. Like I'm coming from, you know, starting off making skits and whatnot to having to leave that and get on stage and like really look at these people in the eyes, and I'm like. This ain't easy at all. So I seen a lot of them that do stand up. I mean, do the skits and everything, and go do stand up, and like it'd be hard. It's two different worlds. It yeah, is. it definitely is. It it's definitely two is. different worlds. Like I said, I deal with everybody from Phase On, Country Wayne, all these folks, man. It's two different worlls. Like it's two different worlds, bro. Ain't no and to be honest no with you, 
Uh, not see that's what Alex Alex no Thomas delete. told me that Alex no Thomas that. said they you can give me uh, a two minutes or one minute of funny but can you give me thirty minutes of funny mm -hmm. that's what he said I'm yeah like, but I will, I will say this brother now listen social media is not as easy as people make it out to be it's a lot easier than standing up on that stage for thirty minutes I, I guess I, I beg I guess because that's because you came from the comedy world so, so, so I'm right that's so like, I, that's like so, 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 fast yeah. food is easy I also must yeah, say yeah, own I'm, question yeah, it's what, whatever you're used to yeah whatever whatever you comfortable doing you, 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 you both you, cause you, you gotta get more content every day but that's hard yeah but you grow it hard Tina as Myron came on here he the same way he started doing the stand up uh, First, what what I, I talked to them. Marco, funny Marco, he yeah, another shout one. Shout them. them them boys start they they flip flipping mm -hmm. and, and, and and coming back this way. So it's really a, it's really bit more opportunity. Would you say it really is now for comedians it really, it really to is. be seen with a new rap? Heard. With a new rap? How often should with you change rap? your Real jokes? Talk. Huh? How often should you recycle your like change your jokes? Well, my like own, once a year, yeah, or some, once a something what? like that. Because you always gonna end up in front of you know more people who didn't see you than people. Oh, see, I changed mine up on accident. You feel like, me? I might have thought I was gonna go in and do this, and then we see something in the building. Now we about to make fun of that. Yeah, yeah. We just roll like that. Yeah. So I think that's that's the real talent in it, like knowing that you don't really know what you're gonna go up there and say. Because if this joke hit. All right, cool. I'm about to go with another one. You're earning the laughs. You got to have a backup plan. So. Facts. We had Chico Bean and Carlos Miller, but them guys go on stage together. I've never mm -hmm. seen that dynamic. I haven't. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, do you think, you, you, it, what's different about the way they do it when they go on stage with all three of them up well, there think, like that? They, I have, they have they you have seen a, that they before? Have a, they have a fire-ass chemistry. You I see what I'm saying? Like, it's but like, different, right? Act, they actually changing the comedy game right. by, right. Doing right. by doing that. Yeah. Like, because... Because nobody did it before them? Nah, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, like, it's, but like it's unscripted. It's unscripted comedy, but they figured out a way to make the... They've kind of took taken the Nick Cannon recipe and put it... From Wild and Yeah, and brought right. it to the right. stage. Exactly. And, kinda, and now they, they kind of like cat quick... They could do things, had an audience singing, bring a person up there, but still go back to a a scripted a sh subject yep. that they know that they're gonna talk about, and then you know go off subject or whatever. So I mean, I applaud them guys for doing because you know. people always laughed at people jostling each other, or ranking on each other yeah. all the time. Anyway, right. so that's really yeah. what all they do. I like yeah, how they, they I like how they like they they all it's like it's, they have a bit. And they all get a chance to to dive in, mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, Screw yeah. you. What do you think about them three standing on stage like that? I know you ain't gonna hate on them, but because you've been in the game so long too, well, y'all been in it a long time. Like how yeah, how did you look at that when you seen them do like, that? There was some similar shit that I do. See, that's what I was trying yeah, to figure it was out. Like something similar that I do. It's, it's like they go out there and they do their shit. Like I don't write. I never wrote a joke a day in my life. Wow. Hmm. I don't think none of us did. Yeah, I'm about to say. No, I mean, write my jokes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't write mine, but. Nah. Never wrote a joke, huh? So you remember all of your jokes that the you did? The stage is the gym. So you do a different joke every time yeah, you go Oh, Open mics is the gym. Get your, you get your still, still do your set. Right. Yeah, you still recite. Yeah. yeah. And my mic, while I'm up, that mic got some shit that might click in. Right. Yeah, something like, when we up there, something like You write your shit. Well, I don't write, I'm, so I'm like. He don't write out whole jokes. He didn't write out notes. No, no. So, so, but listen, that's my style, but it been my style for a long time. But I. I do I, I can go but I'm one of I can go script it I can go off script get back on script I just kind of like that's just my thing I, I'm in love with the, with the game of comedy and so uh, I think the best thing about what we have is I'm learning from them the skit thing and they learning the comedy side from me per se and it's kind of all you know working out together for the good wow. for the greater yeah, good I, start, I, 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 I had the best training because I started under them the yeah, best thing about us amongst us I had to get good ain't no egos in it right that's everybody good. play their role wow. that's, that's the most good. important part that's the most important part ain't nobody man I'm better than you I'm better than you we got I, you got the most love I rock this shit you know right man? right like we, we cause they, they still got kill comics that yeah. still care about being the funniest nigga tonight at all that shit don't yeah. matter. Yeah. Wow. Who's the biggest comic out of New Orleans ever? You're looking to at him. You're looking at him. 
Looking at the Look baddest at niggas to come up out there. There's that never been no mention. We don't even have that. Besides Gary Morris. Y'all got the blues. Besides Gary Morris. The blues. I came down there. Gary Morris, the guy, Uncle Junior, who played Uncle Junior. House of Blues. Who played on Uncle Stan and all that? Okay. I came with Bubba Dub. Did I see y'all do got That's a comedy club. Yeah. No, I ain't no comedy club. I came with Bubba Dub. Did I see y'all do got That's a comedy club. Yeah. No, I ain't no comedy club. It's a music. Yeah, it's just. I never had no improv. He used it as a comedy club when I came down there. That's what makes us so good, bro. Because we didn't get the. We didn't. We didn't have the improvs and all that. We would use. We would literally have to turn people around their chairs, eating crawfish and watching TV, to listen to our jokes. So it's like it's different. When we come into a comedy club, it's like a walk in the park, because mm -hmm. we come from having to get people to pay attention to us. This is New Orleans. Everybody stars. Everybody already funny. So. It's real different. That's why I say we the best, bro. I'm coming would out you, there. Would you consider Tyler Perry a comedian? Are you no. funny. You funny, but I mean, I, but see, that's the new wave. Like you gotta, you because, to because, they, because they got some people that do just only skits, and they consider oh, wow. it to be just comedians. Because remember what he was doing on stage. That's like a skit. That's a skit. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. So when they used to come and do the comedian, uh, because he used, they said he didn't write his parts when he used to do the plays. When he used to you do used the to play. work with him. They used to do skits, bull skits. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. You used to work with Tyler Perry? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, dog, that was yeah, a problem. I thought we was on your line and shit. Like, <laughs> This shit be going off the road. This is going the wrong way. We turn this shit wrong. People ain't gonna know what the hell we were doing in there. Fuck it, I thought we were lying. He looking at him like, I can roll with it, man. What the fuck we got? I think we got in this in this shit. Man, thank y'all for coming on the show, man. Thank you for having me. I enjoyed this. One of my favorite shows with comedians because you niggas is hilarious. I need to come to this show tonight, really. It started what time? Uh, doors open for seven. seven. Um, we're going to hit the stage around nine. nine. And they'll yeah. finish like about two, three o'clock. No, no, no. <laughs> no, man, yeah. no we, we really know how shit was. We're not, 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 we're Get through. We we'll go down there with y'all, man. I appreciate you guys. And if you don't come, your whole whole out to your mama. No, 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 no. I'm coming, nigga. <laughs> nah, I believe him. If he don't come, I, no, for real, like, we come do our. I'm pulling up, nigga. Yeah, cause I ain't never. I, ain't ever, I ever, don't really pull up, but I, right. we gonna go by there. We might not be that long. Hey, but we gonna get in there though. You yeah, gonna yeah, get in there? We don't want to pay my hug. We going? No, because we gotta go to this bad boy movie because we like Eddie Murphy. We not like that nigga back there. We like Eddie Murphy and we. Hey, listen. So Eddie Murphy has to do it. Oh, comedy like, movies, oh he's the one, really, when you think about him, he's the one that introduced comedians like Martin to get no movies. I'm being real. Yeah. That's the stuff you got to think about. You can't just look Hold at up. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy is pretty much birthed. He birthed a lot of these different comedians. Like, the raw shit you see, Martin them, they fed off of that, bro. Wait, of course, they liked, they liked, they liked, yeah. uh, who was that, Dolomite and all them. Yeah. But really, the one who really made that shit hit, to me, was Eddie. You know the what I'm saying? Multi characters and all that. But that you was, didn't yeah. think about yeah. that because you too a, busy thinking of him putting him in a box. You know what? Yeah. He but the Wayne multiple brothers, bro. characters. You stole oh, from Eddie. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying. We give Eddie his props any way we can. You Eddie Murphy. You Eddie Murphy. No, Eddie is definitely. God damn it. When we go back and watch this, just be like, Donovan never said nothing bad about it. He's a pioneer, man. And that's all I'm saying. He lets a new new. You don't even nigga don't like something. Yeah, yeah, man, you can't stand this man. <laughs> check it, man. Hey, man, listen, make sure you guys check this interview out, man. These clips about to go crazy. These comedians from New Orleans, stupid. But before you finish <laughs> it, where can where can they find you if they want to find you? What Instagram? Tell uh, me all your stuff. Uh, my Instagram is at Shady Feel Good. S H A D D Y Feel Good. Ooh, my uh, Instagram, Facebook, everything is Shady Feel Good. S H A D D Y Feel Good. Please say the feel good. And yours? Hold on, because I can't spell entertainment. Well, you got to look, look at that. <laughs> so listen, look at that. I, I can't spell entertainer. So uh, follow me on Mario the Entertainer, E N T E R Retainer. Uh, follow me on Mario Entertainer underscore. Follow me on Probo by Mario. I got three pages. Uh, check out my movie. I'm on Tubi. Trying to come up one and two out right now. Uh, I know who you fucked last summer. The movie coming out in August. My comedy horror. So make sure I tap in. If that's not enough, just Google me. 
I about to say we got a whole nother show just on your fucking. Where I'm looking at which one? Right here. Right here. Uh, Rude you, Mister Five Hundred Four on Twitter, uh, Instagram. I'm blocked off of Facebook. Damn! Damn! Why you get blocked on Facebook? Nah, they got us. No, they blocked me for three years. I get it. Well, three years? What you did? Bro, I, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Y'all sucking in jail. Yeah, I'm sucking in jail. I didn't do nothing. Nigga, because, three years? No, because my live. I'm just talking. The live did not work, and I was just like, damn, why am I? And I sent all kind of. I went to the admin page, sent little notes. Hey, man, let me out. Of, what is going on? Yeah, hey, oh, mom was on. Now. Free Jew till you see Jew. <laughs> 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 Damn, three years? What you did, what you did bro? What there you, you did? Oh, hey, my, uh, my Instagram is 2 real Mac. That feels very long. It's the number 2, R-E-A-L-M-A-C-D-A-T-F-E-E. And uh, I got a million followers on Instagram. You might oh, see, flex. Yeah, you, might see, <laughs> you might see a couple of pages that look like mine, but if they don't have the M, it's not mine. Uh, my you Facebook got a blue check? Is, I don't, no, I don't blue check. Yeah, well, <laughs> hey, you know what happened. That's what you made it when they make a page just yeah. mocking that you. Nigga, you, you that nigga, up. yeah, he, he bought them goddamn followers. <laughs> but I'm a no hand, Bob. I've been doing nah, that too long. That's the first oh, okay, nigga well, I seen. That's the first nigga I seen with a million followers. Well, make followers. sure you post this nigga oh, yeah, then, since you thanks. got all that power and shit. Like, yeah, first you got that me power, nigga. He probably one of the first, not probably, he was one of the first, he the first cat from Louisiana that ever, like, you know. Really? A million followers and. Like, just have the whole social media choco Jumping it. Yeah. It's one other nigga down there that I call. I ain't going to put him out there, but it, I remember we called a nigga to come on the show. My son back there sent that nigga. Who was that nigga? Uh, Rob Cousin. Yeah, 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 I remember that nigga. That's I mentioned dog, him on man. here. He was with uh He, he didn't come, though. He, no, he didn't come. That was, what's the name? from We we didn't have nobody at that so time. We fucks with What's that nigga name? Like, what's that nigga name? I that? can't remember. No, the one that just left for the movie, boy. Jason yeah, Jason, Jason. Jason. That's his oh, boy. Jason. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, his yeah, home yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. That's his home. But you know, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I keep it real that's country. All the fam. Yeah, that's all yeah, fam. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We I, with New Orleans in the building as usual, guys. Man, make sure you like and subscribe to Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Like and subscribe. It's going down, do that. man. And by the Love membership. our people, man. man Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate the show, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Let's get it. What a boss is talking. And we.